and uh, I want to, I suppose, agree with most of the sentiments expressed here uh, by my colleagues and again compliment Deputy Dooley on the work he's done on this. I come here, I suppose, with quite a bit of experience in local radio, having worked uh, 20 years with Shanside Northern Sound in presenting and producing, and I would count it probably the best experience of my life to work in local radio. And local radio is, means so much to the people in the communities. And it's rather unfortunate that Deputy Smith is trying to muddy the waters here at a very critical time for local radio and the people that run it and the people that work on it. But I'm sure Deputy Dooley will deal with that in time. But it's an outrageous way to carry on and it doesn't usually happen in the House. And I'm very sad that it happened here this morning. We are here trying to help people in a difficult situation. We know they have to get help. We know they have to get assistance. But I would like to remind people, as one that worked in local radio, the local radio is the local doctor, the local nurse, the local Garda, the local community activist. Every aspect of life is covered in what they do. They do phenomenal charity work, each and every one of them, raising vast amount of money for charity. They're advice for the old, they're advice for the disabled, but more importantly, they are the unseen person in the room on many occasions, particularly for older people, particularly for people with disabilities. So when families have gone out to work and old people are on their own, the other person in the room is the local radio station. And that is vital and it is so important. Many, many areas of rural life has declined. We've seen it, I'm not going to go into all that has disappeared out of local communities in recent years. And the one thing that has been so crucial and important to our people in rural areas in particular is the local radio. The people who run it, the people who work on it need our assistance now. That is why we are here today. That is why we're here with Deputy Dooley's motion. No other reason. And I'm sure that the vast majority of members in this House will agree with me. So I say it is important that all politicians acknowledge the threat that local radio is under and local journalism. And when you see what is coming out in social media, and my own family has suffered this, and I in particular, from extreme left-wing groups and right-wing right -wing, right -wing groups on social media, it is so important that we protect what we have, what is good, what is here by legislation, and not allow these groups to dictate and destroy the true voice of the people. Where am I good?